perfect, perfect example. She's a very pretty young woman with lovely lips, and she would like to improve them. So, as usual, you have to assess the dynamic of the smile. It's very important. And with lovely lady, we're going to have a surprise, in fact. Uh, that's what I discovered a few minutes ago, in fact. Uh, the fact is, normally, when you smile, as we say, we have the bone and, and the gum. So the upper lip is leaning on the teeth and on the gum, and the upper lip is reversing naturally, increasing the volume when you smile. For some people, because of what Dr. Trevidic said about the different muscle, and especially the elevator of the nostril, and the labial elevator, sometimes the lip reverse, the extreme reverse is what we call the gummy smile. If you smile, please, you see? Small smile, bigger smile, bigger smile, bigger smile. The more she smiles, the more you see the gum. And the more you see the lip reversing, going in. So it's a very difficult case. Because you will always be betrayed by this. If you just filler augmentation, whether you do the outline or you want to plump the red part of the lip, the juicy part of the lip, you will be, she will be disappointed when she smiles because whatever you do, whatever, how much you put in a quiet position, still position, it's going to be lovely and we are going to define the outline and maybe the, the red part adjusting the lower lip. But when she smiles, you will have always this problem reversing. So you're going to lose one half at least of the, the lip augmentation. So the great combination for this lady, which we can't do it today because we don't have it here, is to combine, will be to combine with few drops, very superficial drops, or on the board of Vermillion, as Dr. Trevidic said, or to the, the ala um, elevator here to reduce this ascension and reverse of the lip. RHA2, which is my new gold standard. I love this product. It has an amazing flexibility, easy to mold with the fingers, easy to dissolve if you have any problem. So I think it's the ideal product to do any sort of lips. So what's my technique? So lie down. We said we have to improve the outline and the red part of the lip. I use a very simple technique in my mind that to use a very short needle, a 4 mm, 30 gauge 4 mm needle, which allows you to control exactly what you're doing. Because with this length, you can or inject the outline. I work at the head of the patient. I pinch the lip. I see the outline. And usually also, to be very precise, I mark with a pencil the way out of the filler. See here, I know exactly where the filler is going out. I can be extremely precise. So then I pinch my lip and I'm going to try to find this virtual, can you see it? This virtual canal that you can easily find. You see my needle is four millimeter, maybe two millimeter deep. Exactly, you see? And I can really mold, you see? If I have too much hyaluronic acid, I can take it out. Because I put the marks exactly, I know exactly where the filler will come out. Same thing, same depth, you see? You see the whitening going along the rim? That's perfect. I pinch, always. Very gentle, very delicate. I don't inject the red part for the moment. I will show you after how to do it, okay? At the moment, I just control the outline. The definition of the lip, I increase it. Can you see the outline? The whitening going all along the border. I press. When you do that, uh, yes. do you do sometimes uh, some local anesthesia or something? For I never your use any local anesthesia. You never use? Not do even you use cream. cream? Not e even. Even, even Emla or something? Not like even. That. You can if you want. But I pinch the lip. You know, I pinch the lip, and honestly, it's really not painful. I oh. use uh, this short needle. How many spots you put uh, on your lips? You put three by side? It depends. It depends, depends. the way I capture the, 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 the virtual canal. Sometimes it runs all along in one or two dots. It's finished, you see? Asseyez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Thank you. Okay. 
But no, now I'm going to do the outline of the lower lip, and then I will plumb the lip. The outline of the lower lip. Two ways to do it. You can go all along the outline like this. You put your finger in, you see the whitening of this virtual canal, and you can go like this. You see, tack, boom, all along. You see, it goes all along. And that's beautiful. I prefer personally to carry on my technique, reversing the lip like that. Fermez la bouche et souris. I press like this. Okay, I press, I reverse. And I'm going to do the outline of the lower lip from here. Lower middle part, one prick. And, I, and it goes all along. And I press, I push the extra drop outside. Please sit up. That gives me the balance, you see? It's perfect. I have done some drops here, and it's missing on the other side. Normally, I don't do that, but I will have to do it. It's a very old technique for me, this, uh, doing the outline this way. Then you check. So yeah, smile. OK. You see? Ça, c'est très joli. Analyze the dynamic of the smile is essential. More, more. You see the gum now. It's not right. Normally, I, I rarely use more than one millimeter. It's milliliter. It's okay. exceptional. Now I can do that. Look at this. I reverse the lip, my thumb. I go tangent. I know exactly where my filler is coming out. And I, inside the red, you see, introduction. Can you see it? And I go boom. The four millimeters in. And now you can see the filler going in the red part. And I can mold and sculpt it. Same thing. I reverse, tangent, boom. You see, it flows, simple, very gentle. Reverse, tangent, four millimeter. Because if you go a bit lower, let's say six millimeter, the filler will come here and will make funny lumps. So you have to be very precise. Massage, placement, sculpting. Essential. Same tangent. Four millimeter. Boom. Press. Gentle. That's it. Wow. You see the juicy lips now? Sourire. Smile. I give my sexy drop. I go even higher now than before. I press the upper part of the lip. Here. Tangent. Underneath the mucosa. And I plump. See? Same technique then for the upper lip. Smile. Sorry. Quite sexy. Huh? Voilà. Done.